A horseradish is a radish that is super spicy. It's a cousin to the radishes you're cutting up now. Do they cause blistering? No, uh, spicy isn't hot in your mouth, like, you know, like a, like a hot pepper. I have some growing over here if you want to try some. No! You're videotaping me. Yes, I was. Want to say hello to everybody out there in YouTube land? This is Brian. He's my godson, and he's one of the Manabu Dragons, one of our youth group kids. He's going to be spending the night with me out here at the in the Doma because I just married his parents today and we're taking care of the kids to give them a, a nice little honeymoon present type thing. So he's learning all about how I'm living off the land and what we're eating and uh, he's kind of helped pick the menu a little bit today. Instead of, uh, I was going to do a soup but he wants to do some fry so we're going to we're going to do up a, uh, a garden fry along with a little bit of a vegetable Bean broth rabbits. to go with. Bean rabbits now. All right. Hello, everybody. I got his jaw This is Carl at Manbu Farms, and as you know, we were about to start a rabbit dinner, but uh, when dead? fish shows up at you, you put the rabbit back in the fridge and cook fish. Yummy! <laughs> so we're gonna, thanks to Mark here, president of Lot 10, we're gonna be having fish dinner tonight. Capazzoni. Capazzoni. And are you gonna be staying for dinner, Mark? Um, I don't know if there's enough to go around. Let's see what happens when you fillet it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, everybody. We've cut that fish up in two different directions. One, a large fillet with the tail still on that I've smothered in those herbs that I collected and the garlic. And we wrap that in a kale leaf and we're going to wrap another couple kale leaves around it so that I can use them almost like banana leaves. And over here, we're going to do a fresh farm egg and some flour and do a fry batter with some radishes and potatoes as well. And uh, we'll get back to you soon. Okay, no matter how hard I tried, folks, the couldn't really get those leaves to stay folded around this thing in a way that I thought was actually going to be efficient. So I said, what the heck? Got a little chicken wire sitting over here on the edge of the property. It's not rusted or nothing. And it's going to be on the outside of the leaves that I'm not going to be eating anyways. Let's use it to hold it all together. So that's our chicken wire little basket here to make a steam basket out of these leaves. So tell us something about yourself. What do you uh, do every day normally? Try to go outside, play around. Mostly like cooking. So you like to cook? Yep. What do you usually cook? What's your what do you cook best at cooking? Chicken. Chicken any certain way? Anyway, except for fried. Except for fried, huh? Yep. Well, he's cutting up some of those radishes and uh, he's going to cut up some of the potatoes. He's going to cut up some of the zucchini. Uh, zucchini. I'm going to go get you one right now. That's why I'm going to pause filming here and go grab a zucchini. There's a quick picture of the zucchini. Okay, folks. I uh, totally spaced showing you this, but we pan fried, wrapped an egg and a little flour, uh, two parts of the filet just as a snack while we were cooking up the vegetables. And while I was overcooking, it looks like the uh, get my shot out of the way there so you can see that's uh, kale leaves wrapped around the fish, and it was supposed to just steam it, but uh, you know it kind of burned it pretty well. Um, hopefully, the fish is good inside. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like dirt. This fish here is great. Yeah, it does. Mm. So, uh, wow, really good fish. Nice white fish. And here we got sweet peas, potatoes, uh, radishes, and zucchini. Okay, there's my fish smothered in the herbs with a little pile of vegetables. His fish smothered in the herbs, pile of vegetables, good to go.